It's Morgan here, and I'm back with another cool art activity. Today we are going to be doing this paper mosaic flamingo. Isn't it so cute? Now a cool fact about flamingos, when they're born they're actually gray, and it takes up to three years for them to get their pink and red feathers. All right, now let me show you the supplies that you're going to need. For today's activity, you will need a white canvas, I'm using a 12 by 16 inch, scissors and a pencil, white glue and a paintbrush and a plate. If you don't have this type of white glue, you can also use a glue stick. A black piece of construction paper, a blue piece of construction paper, a pink piece of construction paper, a red piece of construction paper, an orange piece of construction paper, and two different shades of yellow. The first step is to create your penciled outline on your canvas. Follow me. is to grab all your sheets of construction paper and scissors to cut up the pieces into little squares like this. got all our construction paper cut up, take your white glue and put some on the plate. We are going to start gluing down the blue section first. So use a paintbrush and just wipe some of it on the paper and then put it down. section. Next to fill in is the yellow section. Oh, 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 oh,
Now grab your other colored yellow construction paper and fill in the circle for the sun. I realize here that my yellows are too close in color and the sun doesn't show up very well. Now glue down the black section, which is the beak. Now glue down the red. And now it is time to glue down the final section, the pink section of the flamingo. include that you'll also need two googly eyes. If you don't have googly eyes, you can substitute and just draw on eyes with a black and white marker. You did such an amazing job. Look at how cute it is. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Please take a picture of your finished project and send it to the Art Gallery's email, art at corthagallery.com. Be sure to include your first name, age, and title of the project. The Art Gallery is going to post photos of your art on the website and social media so you can see your art posted online.